Hey guys, it's Jamie Bain here from RugbyRenegade.com where we help rugby players get stronger, fitter, faster and stay injury free so they can dominate their opposition on the rugby field. And today we're talking about progression methods. Okay, so you might see this in the gym. A guy come in, does the same exercise, does the same weights, same reps, same sets and over time he's not getting better, he's not pushing to progress. And that's what we're talking about today, different methods to progress your training so you're getting better and improving your performance. So let's go through the different progression methods. Probably the most common one is to increase loads. You know, we're all trying to increase our one rep max, uh, increase the load on the bar that we're lifting. So commonly, you know, you can go from 75%, 80%, 85% in one rep and increase like that over the weeks. Next way to progress, increase the number of reps. You might go three sets of six to three sets of eight, to three sets of 10, or you might just stick with the same weight over a period of five, six weeks and just try and increase uh, your reps per set for that, you know, with chins, it's a classic one, e easy one, body weight chins, just trying to increase how many reps you can do per set. Next one, increase sets, so you might go from three, three sets of five, four sets of five, and then five sets of five, just increasing that over overall volume, okay? Uh, and next one, not use that often, is increasing difficulty. So you might go from a body weight box squat, just learning the technique, uh, then to air squats, a bit deeper range, and then to a barbell squat and you know even overhead squat on from there. So um, <coughs> probably not used as, as often, but a good a good way to vary your training um, <coughs> and still progress. Next one, this time we're not increasing, we're decreasing, but rest. Okay, so you could go from 60 seconds to 45 to 30 seconds. Again, it's just an example. You could do any version, but so long as you're increasing your um, or progressing your workload, um, it would have an effect. Okay, and then lastly, increasing density is similar to the rest. So here you're, you're decreasing your rest, so you're doing more work per unit of time, which is similar to density, but this is more control of reps. If you want to check out density training, we've got a good video, we'll leave a link in the comments below. But uh, you can use any of these, and they're all good for different things. We might do a video about that if there's more questions on, on which progression methods are better for which goals. Uh, but just make sure your training has some sort of progression so you're improving your performance. Okay. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, please like it and share it. And of course, subscribe to us. There's a, a link here somewhere below. Uh, please subscribe to us for weekly strength conditioning uh, videos for rugby. Till next time.